Premium Pack 2020 is in full swing, and uh, we got seven, I believe, to eight new cards. It might be seven new cards um, coming out this evening. Remember, the 12 Days of Christmas starts this evening at 5 p.m., so hope that you guys that uh, have been looking forward to that are going to get a chance to enjoy it. So, Tindangle de Holos. So this thing is level five, Dark Fiend, and it's a flip effect. <sighs> I cry every time. So you can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each, okay? So if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, you can target one tin dangle in your graveyard except for tin dangle D-hole and special summon it in face down defense mode. And then flip, you can send one small trap card from your deck to the graveyard. Hmm, I can send my shit all fusion. And then a tin dangle link monster was linked summoned using this card as material can make up to three attacks during each battle phase. Now here's my, uh, my problem with this. Uh, this is a level 5. Um, I It's extremely hard to want me to want to bring this out. Man, that was terrible English. But when I look at this card, I'm like, okay, cool. So, yes, we have more sending from the deck. Yes, if I dump this off of, you know, my shit all fusion, I get to revive something. Okay, cool. Problem is, I still gotta want to play Tin Dangles to want to make this work. And, uh, I don't foresee that happening today, Duelist. I wish we could. Uh, next up here is these two cards kind of go hand in hand here. So we got Right Hand Shark. So when this card is normal summoned, you can add a Left Hand Shark from your deck to your hand. Oh, this card is sent to the graveyard and you control no monsters. You can spell summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. And Xyz monster that was Xyz summoned using only water monsters on the field, including this card as material, gains this effect. Can't be destroyed by battle. Okay, okay, okay. So, we have actual decent water support here in the fact that I get to go ahead and search for my other shark friends. So, right hand shark here, doing a lot of good deeds for this archetype, all right? Now, left hand shark, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, and I control a right hand shark, I can splash some of this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay? If this card is splashed summoned from the graveyard, it becomes level four. I'm automatically a sad boy now because I look at this and I'm like, oh man, like, yay, we could have had so much more, but we just don't get that. And an Xyz summoned card, or an Xyz monster summoned by using only water monsters on the field, gains this effect, cannot be destroyed by card effects. So in combination with each other, you can set up a monster that cannot be destroyed by battle, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Um, it's really cute that these two go hand in hand with each other um, for a little bit more synergy. But my problem here is, is this only normal summon searches. It's not on special. Yes, this one can revive itself if I have nothing in the graveyard, but to what avail am I going to want to use this ability? Because, I mean, th these two just seem very underrated for what I currently value in the game. Maybe, maybe sharks will be tier zero with this. Maybe I'm just being a little bit hypocritical and being like, oh, well, you know, it, it's water support. It can't be that good, but... Looking at these two cards, I, I don't think that this is very good in the long run. Maybe if this said on special, um, and this should have also been a level four, but I get you have to give it a downside because if you don't, if you just straight make this a level four right away, what if it, like it stinks because like they punish you for searching off left shark because it's just a level three at that point and you've just got to make a stupid bad link monster yeah i mean you can go ahead and make link monster all you want but the problem is you can only splash some of this guy if i have no monsters so i'm gonna have to do something about my link monster that i just made in an attempt to try to climb up the ladder but i, I don't know this is just really bad card design in my personal opinion maybe maybe we'll get something else here to make this a little bit better all right, Pendulum Xyz. What is 
this. I'm glad to see that the crystal is being contaminated there. All right, so you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. All right, so we can target two cards in our pendulum zones, special summon them, but their effects are negated. And if you do, immediately after this effect resolves, exceed or exceed summon one exceeds monster using two months or using only those two monsters material. You can treat one level of the of those materials as the same level as the other monster during this exceed summon. Hmm. So congratulations, Triff. You got a, a new toy here, it looks like. Um, you're gonna get the chance to mess around with this. Um how okay, so to me, I want to see this card be played as like a finisher at the end of my pendulum play. So as, as a pendulum player, you typically build your board and do things like that. So as long as you can build your board, do things like that, and then you activate this at the end of your thing, then make another Xyz monster um, to punish your opponent. I, th I think that that would be the ideal way to go about this. But my problem at the end of this, though, is you still have to play this card. You're going to have to dedicate an extra deck space in combo pendulum to this. And really the only thing I would want to do with this is abuse a Dark Rebellion monster, because uh, it's typically the best thing to do with this. But alas, if we can't, or we can't make like a good boss monster off of this, then this card just kind of feels very wasted in terms of card design. So curious to see if this card would actually see play. I, I, I believe in a gimmicky base deck. We could see this card actually see play. It also stinks that you're limited to basically a 2 Xyz summon for this, because uh, you're not allowed to use other monsters to abuse this. But okay, we'll see. I, this card has potential. All right. Down, Dowsing Fusion. Oh no, it's another fusion spell card. All right. Fusion Summon. One fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing monsters from your graveyard as material. You can only use pendulum monsters as material to fusion summon with this effect. What? Oh, this seems awful, actually. Um, what do I want to use? Or what good can I use from Pendulum Monsters to make me want to use this card? Because uh, this doesn't seem very good. <laughs> All right. White Mirror. Okay. So you can activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can target one level four lower fish monster in your graveyard, a special summon it. Then you can add one water, or you can add one monster with the same original name in your deck to your hand. So, once again, we're just using this. Why does, why does water support always constantly suck uh, first up here? But anyway, yeah, I get to summon back a level 4 lower fish and then recur back for a monster with the same name as that. So for a monster reborn in a searcher, all right, this is pretty cute. But outside of that, where, where's our value in this? Because this card seems pretty subpar. And then we got Eternal Bond. Is that a literally sperm going into the egg? Because that's what that looks like. So you can target any number. Okay, hold on. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each, and it's a normal trap card. Uh, target any number of photon monsters in your graveyard. Swap some of them, but their effects are negated. Do we really just need to get photons this? Because this is broken. During your main phase, banish this card from your graveyard, then target one photon monster your opponent controls. Gain control of that monster. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot declare an attack with monsters except with that monster. Also, that monster's attack becomes equal to the combined attack of all photon monsters you control. <laughs> Why does my soul charge also include the effect of taking my opponent's photon monster? When is my opponent going to have a photon monster? When? <laughs> like, Photon Pop Operative's dead. Photon Slasher's about it. But, what? <laughs> I guess, alright, this is just one of those effects that we're like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll give them that. Overall, new support is alright tonight. I don't see anything 
too amazing. Pendulum McSees is pretty cute. Um, and the Tindangle guy is alright, but this shark support is whatever. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, I'm out, guys. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.